Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing to check out the Kobolds and Catacombs expansion, this time with our second match of our Spell Hunter deck. That's right, I said it would never happen, and I was dead wrong. It happened immediately, and in fact it was the first deck I crafted this expansion. Spell Hunter is a thing, and it's actually really fun to play. Um, I'd say it's probably a tier 2 deck just off of what I've seen in terms of performance, but I've been doing quite well with it with over a 50% win rate, so definitely a fun one, uh, if not a cheap one. That said, if you got all the parts already, like I did, then uh, definitely a good option. Let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can get our second win. Uh-oh. He's a priest. This could be trouble, guys. Big Priest is the new big boy in town. And I will actually be uh, checking out Big Priest myself in the not-too-distant future probably on our next episode, but for now, we're up against it, and this is just not a good hand. <laughs> we didn't get any secrets, are you kidding me? Uh, that's okay, we can deal with this. Let's go ahead and track, and see what options we get. Uh, against, against Priest, I actually might want Deathstalker Rexar, but I'm gonna take Wandering Monster so we have a turn two. I suppose I could have coined an Animal Companion next turn, but I really like Wandering Monster as an opening play. Um, actually, I think this is Barnes Priest, so I am going to Animal Companion in case I get a Huffer. Nope. That's okay. We got the minion that hits that sweet spot, or one of the minions that hits that sweet spot where Mage or Priest doesn't have an easy way to remove it without using multiple cards. Ah, it's Raza Priest? Oh, I guess I thought it was Big Priest. Go figure. I guess Raza Priest is still getting play. That's actually pretty good for us, because we don't have any minions, I don't think, at all in this deck with over 6 attack. Call of the Wild, not super useful right now, um, but that's okay. A flanking Strike would be great if I could use it. Alas, it was not meant to be. Um, shall I remove the Glimmer Root? No. It's not worth it. Just gonna hit him for 4. I doubt he can remove the bear without attacking into it anyways, so... I'd rather save the Hunter's Mark on the Hunt combo for, like, Raza or something like that. Now, one slight concern with this deck is that it is nice to have the minions last more than one turn, and uh, Shadow Reaper Anduin can obviously clear the board pretty easily, but, uh, oof, especially with stuff like Kazakus, but uh, a lot of the stuff in this deck is able to hit right away. It really depends on how, much, how often we roll Hoggers from the Animal Companion summons. I wonder if he will attack into my three or attack his three three into my four four. He will not. Interesting. Well, now I am gonna flanking strike and get rid of this Kasakis. Get a minion out of it and keep on getting as much damage on the board as I can. I'm hoping he does not play a greater healing potion this game, because if he doesn't, I think we might be able to get enough momentum going with like Call of the Wild in hand. Call of the Wild is guaranteed five damage on turn nine because you will always get Liak. It's all of them, so you get Liak and Huffer. No! How could you? And then he's gonna remove all my dudes. That's annoying. Uh, we're at five mana. I can't do a whole ton. We're just gonna on the hunt this thing, so I don't have to deal with it. We get a 1-1. One, one. Hooray! Don't shoot him. Fortunately, turn six, we can to my side, which is the um, slightly upgraded version of Animal Companion, somewhere between that and Call of the Wild. We get two random Animal Companions since we have no minions in the deck, which is pretty good. Freezing Trap. That's actually a great card in this situation, but um, we're probably not going to get to use it. <clears throat> Decent chance of seeing a Dragonfire Potion this turn, which actually wouldn't hurt us as badly as uh, you might think. It's not ideal, but we have a good amount of power in hand. And I don't think he has an easy way to remove either of these minions. We might just see, like, a Raza or something. Oh! Well, I guess he does have a way to remove both these minions. That was an interesting choice. Hmm. Well, that actually could spell trouble for us. At least we get a Wandering Monster out of it. No, he's gonna kill it this turn, so I can't get the buff. 
You're the worst. Ha, ah, you have no way to heal anymore except playing like... Oh no, he's got circle of healing. Ah, binding heal. Doesn't matter as much now, except that he is still going to transform into Shadow Reaper Anduin at some point. Gosh, him getting that five armor is actually a pretty darn big deal. Uh, I'm going to go with... Wandering Mon Monster, Cat Trick. It's not really worth freezing trap against the board he's got right now. I'll just shoot him. Not much point in returning a 3, 2, or 1 mana minion to his hand. I'd prefer to get the freezing trap off on, like, Raza or something. We'll see. Uh, Rock Delar would probably save us here, because we'd get a good chance of getting another kill command or two. I have won games before with a triple kill command, which is really stupid. We got our 4-2 stealth, which means we can deal some damage still. Yes! That's awesome. Free trade for the Northshire. Now, he will bump his 2-1 into this, probably, which is a bit of a bummer, but we'll see. Build-a-beast is not an ability I wanted to give a priest, though, because he's going to be able to just build taunt minions every turn. We're going to have to do some Hunter's Mark foo here. Okay, he couldn't afford the minion he crafted. Um, hmm, 8 mana is not an ideal amount. I guess we'll just Freezing Trap. I'd like to hold on to the kill command. So we're just going to Freezing Trap and shoot him. Less than ideal. Well, actually, let's see. Kill command would deal another 5 damage, so we'd be at 13. Plus, he would take only 5 from now. Nah. Well, do I want to kill command now? No, I don't want to bait out a, uh, I don't want to bait out an early. Ha! Get out of here. Uh, I don't want to bait out an early, what you call it, heal, greater healing potion. I want to be able to hit this guy as hard as possible. Now I can hit him for, well, actually I can't hit him. 612? Oh, shisa. Uh, that's a pain in my booty. Hmm. What is the best way to remove it? I really don't want to use my kill command here, but I think I have to. I could hit it with the 4-2, but I want to keep that 4-2 alive. I know I had one more freezing trap in my hand, but I need to get these minions on the board to start hitting him. Because he's going to be doing his Shadow Reaper and Wind transformation soon, but he's not going to have any targets for it. Ideally. Let's hope he doesn't get another uh, taunt here. Please don't give him a taunt. We have lethal if he doesn't. Oh, he got a dragon fire potion. That's brutal. Alright. Well, we'll go for our Call of the Wild this turn. Hope that he can't clear the board easily again. He's probably playing Raza. I'm pretty almost positive he's playing Raza, so that was his. Well, I said I was gonna say that's his only dragon fire potion, but now that I look at it, that was a discovered card. Probably from Shadow Visions. We may just see another dragon fire, which would be sad. It's totally another dragon fire. No, it's not. It's gonna be a horror combo. Fortunately for us, I think we're still gonna win this. Because we have kill command. I wish I had that other kill command, though, I tell you what. But if we could pull, like, Rook Delar, or just survive for two more turns and he can't and if he can't heal then we've got this oh man the suspense is killing me but based on the amount of time he took to discover that we may be okay I'm trying to think if there's anything that would save me here no not really oh and kill command actually doesn't deal five damage quite yet so we're just gonna have to hang out till next turn or the turn after that potentially if we don't draw a minion or uh Something to summon a minion. Hell, I'd take a lesser emerald spellstone at this point with no charges. 
interesting. That actually is not that big of a concern. In fact, um, oh my god, dude. Give me something that gives me a beast. Four, five, six, seven, there we go. Or I could just do Animal Companion, it's even easier. Ba-boom! There you have it, lethal. Man, Spell Hunter. Shockingly flexible, continuing to perform. It really is quite a fun deck to play, but it is definitely one that you need to be at least fairly familiar with most hunter spells and how they all work. I'm sure I had a misplay or two in there, but I think it's important to hold on to certain things as long as possible, like, for example, our Emerald Spellstone. That said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.